Let's go. Got Necro Savants to kill. Do Necro Savants become stronger at night? I can't remember. I don't think they do. Because we're going to get there at night. Yeah. Many Necro Savants, a plethora of ancient auxiliaries. I can't remember if there's a mechanic where by Necro Savants are stronger at night. Is that a thing? I hope not, because we're about to attack. Okay, <laughs> so you need to come off. You can go on for him. You can go on for him, him, and him. And the cultist tank can go on the end. Yeah, three-headed flails good because you get three attacks. And since you're on the end, you can have the stun. Actually, I'd rather the ninja has that because he's more likely to hit. So he's more likely to get the stun. So swap. Ninja can go on the end with the stun. And we're all good. Everyone's got full health. Should do by now. Even after that last battle that we did, we travelled all the way back to... Yeah, this guy's still missing a bit, but it's fine. Yeah. Oh good, if we step back too, the Necrosavants won't even be able to get to us. That's really cool. So let's do that. Won't even be able to get to the squishy back line. Twenty six, probably ten of them will be Necro Savants. We don't want the tank to go out and get Lone Wolf because then he'll be completely exposed and we'll literally get surrounded. And the Necro Savants will get full surround and all of the adjacency bonuses that come with it. Which means he'll get completely fucking wrecked, basically. Good, so the squishies are all safe. So this will be a piece of cake. Walk in the park should be. We're going to wait because the Necro Savants are going to attack now. There's no point attacking skeletons. They don't do much. They're not much of a threat. You have already waited, so you're not going to waste your turn. You are going to attack. Here come the Savants. Okay, so teleport gets through Spear Wall. Okay, good to know. Couldn't remember if it did or didn't. Makes sense, because they're not really moving on to you. They're kind of teleporting next to you. Ugh. Focus on the injured one. Toot the horn, because we've got people breaking. Three-headed flails, man. So good against Necro Savants. Fifty-four. Go for the one in front of you. He's half dead. Fifty-nine. Good hit. You can't do anything, unfortunately, so don't worry about it. Right. Yeah. Start wailing on the savants. 
one because it overwhelms them. Step there and stun. Good. Now step back. Good work. That's good, as long as they keep teleporting around aimlessly. We should be okay. I don't like this. This is obnoxious. Because we're not going to be able to attack either. This guy has to attack a skeleton. Big waste. Bloody hell, he hit the main, he hit Sir Harold. That's unfortunate. Shield wall. Shield wall. You can rally everyone. Uh, yeah, I guess that guy. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. Can't do anything. Get your whip out. See if you can disarm someone over here. No. This is actually really bad for us. I thought it was good because they wouldn't be able to get to the squishies. But it just means this guy is completely exposed and surrounded now. Still, they've only got 28% chance to hit him, which is really good. Fucking 73% miss. Do with some nets here, actually. Forty-four percent chance for the kill there. I know I said attacking skeletons is pointless, but it's not completely pointless because it clears up space. For us to be able to move around. Shit, he's in trouble. Someone's going to teleport in here.
Stop getting headshots. So if you clear the skeletons, the these guys get less surround bonus, and it means your men can actually move around and do stuff. Like rotate other, rotate out damaged soldiers. Here we're going to double rotate, rotate you, rotate you. So he's now nice and safe. Uh, you can wait. Kill him. Shield wall. Uh, can't do anything but step forward and attack, so do it. Shield wall. Get your long range weapon out. And kill him. Good. Step to here. Hit him. Come to here, get your whip out. Overwhelm him. They keep getting headshots, it's crazy. You get your whip out. Disarm him. Get into the middle because you don't have much armor when you're protected. Crush him, step forward. Come down to protect that guy because he's got no armor. If he gets hit, he's fucked. Recover. Same again. I don't want him getting hit, so just stay there because you can't hit anyone. Kill him. Ah, oh, you missed the kill. Recover. Excellent. Another headshot. Although it's pretty good. He's got more armor on his head than he does on his body, so that actually saved him. Whipping these fuckers to death. Double miss from the ninja. Wait. You can wait. You can wait. You can kill him. Really? A lot of misses, boys. A lot of misses. Just a round of misses. Just an entire round of misses, apparently. That's what we're going for. No one wants to hit anything this round. Good job, you fucking cretins. It's going to go after Ubaid. Goodness, that miss. If that had been a headshot, it would have been devastating. Right. 79%. Let's try again. Actually, you need to recover. Uh. 
How irritating. Thank you, finally. Fucking hell. Easy peasy. Just frustrating when they keep missing everything. Good vampire dust we can turn into happy powder. It occurs to me now, all these episodes later, that if we'd had some happy powder in our inventory when the um, aspect of Davkul event had procced, we could have given a known cheater happy powder and that would have cheered him up enough that he wouldn't have left until we could get to a pub. And then you have a drink, and that cheers them up even more. And then you get into combat. That By that point, you can then get into combat, and it snowballs into him being positive mood, and he doesn't actually leave. So that means we would have only lost one archer and wouldn't be uh, having to level up quite so many. We'd also have a sniper, which means we'd be able to get into undead fights and stuff like that. So something to consider for you guys later, if, if you want, is um, to make sure you have happy powder in your inventory if you're going for the aspect of Davkul event. Because that can negate the effects of um, having it. Now, unfortunately, we took more damage there than I anticipated because my idiots all kept missing and kept getting hit in the head. So I'm not sure we'll be able to overturn Mass Grave. Let's take a look. You'll see, you're missing half your armor. You definitely need an entirely new armor. You need another helmet. We're doing okay, actually. I think we can do it. Yeah, we should be able to do it, no problem. He just needs another helmet. Backline boy, babe, gets attack, defense, and fatigue. Right, let's go. We've got enough that we should repair the, the stuff that we're wearing. And heal up. Plethora of legionaries, few orange guards. Ooh. Plethora of legionaries, few ancient honor guards, an ancient priest, and a few necro savants. That's doable. It's going to be a bit tough, but I think we can do it. Yeah, let's go for it. Fuck's sake. One, two, three, four. I would step back twice, but this is in the way. Okay, so it's three savants, or at least one priest and two savants. I'm not sure I waited on the tank. I'd quite like him to move out, actually. Move out and get Lone Wolf. You can wait. You can wait. You can wait. I might still be able to move him up to there, actually. There's only 24 of them, and most of them are legionaries, not um, honor guards. So this should be a piece, piece of cake. As long as there aren't too many necro savants that surround us, shouldn't be an issue. There's the priest. Okay, so it is three savants. 
two honor guards, three savants. Yeah. Since he can't attack, go there. Ninja, move forward. Here come the Savants. Huh, he moved instead of teleporting. That's interesting. Is there any point moving him out there? Probably not. Just move there so he can eat loads of... Hopefully these three will sit there hitting him, attacking him. and attack, see if we can secure the kill. Very nice. Probably going to teleport on Sergeant Buttwhip. Yeah. That's fine. He can footwork away. Get, he'll get an attack here. That'll get rid of his skeleton. But he can just footwork away and then I'll move someone else down. Shield wall. Big ass axe. Tank. Footwork out of there. Yeah, move to there. Oh, and then you got hit. I check the odds on it, but it's too it's gonna be moving too quickly for me to see it. You can only really check the odds when you get to a, your turn. Get to one of your characters and it pauses. The, the action pauses and then you can read it. Ha, ah, the priest just moved away, that's funny. Always target the Necro Savants. Uh he can't, so move there and target them. So he can't target the Necro Savants to step forward and go for that guy, the next most dangerous target. I'm surprised they're not going for Sergeant Butt Whip, yeah. There we go. Normally they go for the weakest. Um, he can't target. This guy is stuck, so go for the artillery and then him. Yep, good. You can target the Necro Savants, so always target the Necro Savants first. Good work, Sir Cunnabert. Shield wall. Uh, you can go for Savant. Very good. Shield wall on Eagle. Put work away and kill. Perfect. 
can't target anyone else, can he? No. Toot the horn, see if it helps. Eagle, no, it didn't. Too far away. Cultist tank's in trouble, so he needs to move away after this attack. He's lost all his armor. Kill that guy. Get your big ass axe out. And oh, you're not having enough fatigue for swinging again. Oh well. He's gonna swing at the necro savant. Go for the kill. Where is it? It's there, so he can move. Yeah, move and attack. Kill. Kill. No, I missed. Come here to pressurize the Savant. Double queef in the set. Oh no, it's there. I thought it was in the same place. Right, kill, and unfortunately, you can't move away anywhere. So, I'm not going to move you in, that would be stupid. Just move away. Right, let's get rid of this last savant. Miss, unfortunate. Oh, one hit. Takes off all his armor and activates nine lives. Very good. Don't particularly want to move you forward, so come out of the go the gas. Yeah, he'll target butt whip. That's fine. He's still got armor. Step forward. Go for him. Uh, steps are there. Get your whip out and whip this guy to death. Very good. And come back. Oh, that's in the smoke. Whoops. I thought I was clear of the smoke, but I was wrong. Come to there. Kill. Shame. Uh, come to there. the smoke by mistake. You're done, you've got no more armor. You can shield wall. Uh, you can just move up and start pressuring the annoying priest who's gassing everything. hit quite a lot. Beautiful hit. The priest is just flapping now. He's like, oh, oh, all my soldiers are dead. What do I do? Fatigue to swing. He 
got a feared. He let the fear get into him. You think you're going to be alive long enough for that to take effect, do you? Silly priest. Huh. Didn't even get any treasure. That's how ridiculously stupid that fight was. No famed item, no treasure, just 500 crowns. Oh well, bit of a waste of time. But we are definitely, we need 100 tools now, and we've got 29, so we're definitely going to head back into town now. Pick up tools, the obnoxious tool thing is just driving me crazy. And then come back and carry on, um, carry on exploring the wilds. Attack, defense, fatigue. Very good. Okay, let's head back to town, Hikma. What's that? Nine undead? Nine necro savants? Can't be asked. Not worth it. Wouldn't get anything for killing them. Oh, we get happy powder, but we've already got one. And I'm not going to need happy powder now. The only time you really need happy powder in the game is that one instance when you get the aspect of Davkul. And everyone gets pissed off. Then you give the happy powder. You have a couple of happy powder in your inventory. And you... Um, you give the happy powder to the best soldiers. So they don't leave. Oh, that helmet can go again. Can be worn again. Put that on you. And who had... You did. Had this. Yeah. Exchange all this trash for all the tools that we need. We need 77 tools. Fucking hell. Um, let's come back to Tanware. Yeah, let's come back to Tanware and pick up more tools. Since we're going to use half the tools that we have before even going out into the wilds. Might as well move off in search of more tools. This is perfect opportunity to get some XP. We just need to wait for daylight. Yep, two bands we will kill with archers. wait for them to come towards us. I 
forgot to let my archers do the work. Well, we need to take their armor off anyway. Of course, you'd get a headshot. What is with it? You guys are hitting everyone in the head. Perfect, nice target for my archers. Uh, you can just shield wall. Yeah, he needs to die before he destroys the shield. Oh, one of them thinks he can get away. What do we say to that, boys? Looks like he will get away, actually. Fuck. Oh, well. Building up fast adaptation stacks. Beautiful kill. Yeah, he gets away. Oh well, whatever. Oops, didn't mean to kill him. Whatever. Over. And the next lot. Again, just wait for them to come towards us.
keep getting head shells. Wait on all the archers to get the killing shot. Can't seem to hit this guy. Double kill for Adler, very nice. Anything again. Mm. What are you doing there, you silly twat? Really? Double miss? Are you kidding me? Kidding me with a shit? Thank you. At least Adler knows what he's doing. What were those double misses? Like 95% chances or something? 81. 71 and 81s. Rotate the archer out so it doesn't take a massive hit for no reason. Good. Lots of kills for the archers. Any levels? Yes. Adler got a level. 
And he's just earned himself nimble. Very nice. Attack, fatigue, initiative. Definitely pick up nimble. Now he can go up against big camps of archers if necessary. Not necessarily if necessary, but it means he can get more XP. Ooh, even more nomads. 14. We've got time. 